For many of the 25 million golfers in the U.S., hitting a beautiful arcing shot off the tee is a matter of utmost gravity, literally, as it turns out. What makes that golf ball move as it does in a parabolic curve, up and away, then down and away, is the force of gravity pulling that ball downward toward the center of the Earth. You probably remember the law of universal gravitation from science class. All objects in the universe, from planets to particles, have gravity. How much is determined by their mass? Earth has a huge mass, which means a powerful gravitational pull of all objects on and near the planet towards the center. That's why the golf ball soars into the air, then comes back down. One hopes into or near the hole. Without gravity, any projectile, a golf ball, a soccer ball, a javelin, would keep traveling forever. It'd be a different ball game on other planets and moons where size, mass, density, and gravitational force all vary. The moon, for example, is far less massive than Earth, so its gravitational pull is much less, about one-sixth that of Earth. What would happen if one played golf on the moon? On February 6, 1971, Apollo 14 astronaut Alan Shepard did just that, using a golf ball he brought from Earth and a makeshift six iron club. Unfortunately, the center is so stiff, I can't do it with two hands, but I'm going to try a little sand trap shot here. Just as humans seem to move in slow motion in lunar gravity, Shepard's golf ball seemed to arc away in slow motion. How far did it travel? Miles and miles and miles. Well, no. Shepard hit the golf ball one arm and at a bad angle. But given the moon's weaker gravitational pull, a perfectly hit golf ball could travel about two and a half miles, more than eight times farther than the longest drive recorded on Earth, 515 yards. And it would take that ball more than a minute to come back down to the vast sand trap that is the lunar surface. What about a planet that has more gravity than Earth? Neptune, for example, or Jupiter, the largest, most massive planet in our solar system. Jupiter is more than 10 times the size of Earth, but it's so much less dense that its gravitational pull is only about two and a half times Earth's. What would happen to a golf ball hit on the surface of Jupiter? That's hard to imagine because there is no solid surface on Jupiter. It's a gigantic ball of gas surrounding a compressed liquid metal center. A golfer would sink to the planet's core before sinking the shot. Any future human settlements on other planets will depend on compensating for different gravitational pulls as well as different atmospheres. Until then, gravity will be keeping over 7 billion of us down to Earth.